yeah welcome to uh, in the red corner thank you for joining as always and if you've not already done so please uh, subscribe and share the channel um, not going to be a long video um, just finished work so it's not going to be a long one um, and I don't want to go on and rant and whatever because well I'm going to do that anyway but uh, once I start I think uh, it, it had gone for about four hours this video um, so yeah about news about that club's been charged with EFL um, breaking rules guidelines I mean I'm no um, expert on you know on rules regulations law or anything like that but uh, yeah it does sound serious uh, I know people some people's been saying but clubs done it in them sense so they've got to be confident the way it get found guilty I'm not having that I'm sorry I'm not it's it's poor um, this pre-season I don't care what anybody says there's some supporters aren't there and don't get me wrong I like everybody's opinions but there's some 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 supporters aren't there that is still saying oh well it's early doers about getting new players in uh, new managers only been here a couple of days it don't matter I, I thought it won't manager that didn't have not to the way getting players so and when we are we're just getting them out at non-league which I ain't got a problem with but if all the signings are going to be out at non-league that's a worry straight away I don't care what anybody says and no disrespect to players that's coming in um, so that probably explains what's uh, been going off especially with today's news um, so let's get that out of the way this pre-season has been an absolute joke we've had some bad ones in this time but this one is an absolute shambles uh, in anybody's book uh, whether uh, like I said manager's been there a couple of days or a couple of weeks makes no difference whatsoever we're a professional football club um, so I'm not expecting any players coming in me to be honest um, I think we'll be deducted points so we can get ready for that I think that'll be next thing um, I mean I'm hoping that we just get a slap up wrist um, but I'm very very doubtful of that I think we'll be playing catch up straight away again um, in season uh, and if we do get points docked um, I know mine's only a small channel it's not one of the major ones out there so I hope somebody from club does get to watch this if we do get points docked all fans they need reimbursing some money off the season ticket uh, and I, I don't care what anybody says we need refunding some money off our season ticket we, we, if we get docked points and we, it's going to take at least five matches to get up to at least level with teams above us <laughs> it, it's to me it's not like a full season um, you, you might as well just scrap first five games um, so it's not a full season we need refunding if that's the case why should we pay for a full season when this is happening and why has it only just come out now when everybody started to or has already renewed um, it, the, the whole thing just it, it, to me it just reeks I'm usually positive um, like I said I'm usually light hearted on this channel but this is proper cheese me off this has this news um, there's fans aren't there yeah? um, that's in some cases spending more than they should be on things like this like season tickets but they do it because like me love club absolutely love that football club um, but it don't seem to get be took into consideration. Um, like I said, there's some fans happy with transfer policy, what we're doing now, at minute, picking so-called gems up from non-league. I do get that with when Mark Roberts, Jamie Vardy started uh, in non-league. I do get that, honestly, I do. But when you sign so many and you're hoping for them to be an absolute gem and play at league I'm sorry but that, that tells its own story uh, and this today uh, with this week's with, sorry this with these charges is just icing on cake 
uh, for me. Um, I don't think we'll be on minus points now when we start. Um, so is it just a case now just that we're hoping just to survive it league? Um, and again, there's some supporters saying, oh, well, just wait, see what happens. That's not point. That is not the point. We're supposed to be making a statement. It won't long since we played in, at Wembley in final. And look at clubs just totally gone backwards yet again. Uh, it just absolutely winds me up. Uh, and from a diehard supporter like me, I just can't understand why some people are still defending club. Because it's absolutely shocking. It really is. I do hope um, the people that's put us in this position, I hope it's them themselves um, that gets punished and not club. Um, because when club gets punished, it's us as supporters that gets punished. And what what do we matter? Uh, the only thing that we do uh, is just put us hard and money into club, which yeah we, we like doing, but. There's no, there's no about it. Um, it makes you wonder why Duff really went nah, if I'm honest. I mean, did he know that things were going to happen like this? Did we want him to go to get that bit of compensation to pay for whatever fines we've got? Um, Anderson money. Um, forget about that getting invested in team. Because uh, I think we would have seen it already. Um, yeah, as you can tell, I'm absolutely cheesed off. Uh, we, I'm not going to swear on channel because I, I don't. Uh, but it's it's very hard not to at minute. Um, and like I said, if we do start on minus points, club needs to come out and give some money back to supporters off the season ticket. Honestly, do why should we pay for a full prize season ticket when? We, we ain't got chance. We, we just ain't got chance. It's not to me. Yeah, you're playing the same number of games, but you, you're playing so many games before you actually get to level uh, on zero points. It, it it's not a full season. They need to reimburse us if that's case. Honestly, do. Um, I, I'm I'm just filming, uh, and like I said, anybody can defend club uh, like this. I'll never know. But like I said, mine's just a small. Uh, channel so whether people will see this I don't know um, I might just be talking to me sen in my car uh, on phone like I normally do um, but I would love to know how fans can defend it and still stand by what's happening at club because I don't know if I'm missing something or not but it, it's a complete joke at minute this pre-season honestly is absolute joke um, God knows what Collins thinks whether he knew about this before he came because we don't know end of the day uh, we don't know but if it's just for that God knows what he thinks um, and explains why we're just not getting no players in uh, albeit non-league players uh, who's free agents anyway it's it, it's poor it is really really poor um, and there's still no news about players coming in. We probably can't get players in. Um, so whether, again, some supporters are wanting young'uns coming in. Uh, I mean, <laughs> Art at Academy, is that standard where we are, really? Is that standard that we expect as fans? You know, don't think of it as a, a board member or people who say, yeah, I'm being realistic. Really? relying on non-league out of contract players and some players out of academy uh, in League One hoping that we're going to be alright it, it's it's shocking um, and like I said I'm usually um, not as serious on this channel but what can you do uh, what can you do um, so yeah I've gone from beginning of the season saying that we need autos or I'm expecting autos to now nah, I think we'll probably do well if we stay up if we're going to have a minus uh, start in league 
because it's going to take some catching up that especially when we're not getting quality players in um, all clubs are handers again players apart from us proper well pro I'm going to say proper players but that's no no disrespect to players that we've got but I mean uh, players that's been there and done it we're just taking gambles on players from like Halifax and non-league it's it's poor um, and they need to be accounted for these people and like I say I know this channel's not big uh, but whether the club has these so called secret meetings because I never get invited um, I, I'm be honest I don't expect to because I speak my mind that's why I like doing uh, my own videos and also I'm going on Tights TV uh, I'm not one for wanting uh, sorry, I'm not one for saying what they want you to say um, and that's probably one of the reasons why I don't get invited um, I know it's a, a small crappy channel that I run uh, it's not the biggest um, but in your so called secret meetings um, this needs to be raised um, and fans need to com be compensated if we do get a points deduction because it's not on why should we keep paying all this money out um, when everything's going up in price and we're getting absolutely shafted all the time it's I'm sorry but it's wrong and club needs to take a stand on it now and actually show that they care about the core income which is the supporters um, because I think they're in for a shock if it, if it carries on if we don't get any players in at all um, and we start struggling it's going to turn very toxic at Oakwell um, and I, I think it's starting now uh, honestly do with news um, so if anybody's watching this um, who owns club on board like I say it's very highly unlikely that you are because uh, like I say I'm not a major channel and you know I, I say what I feel I, I don't say what you're wanting me to say so you're probably not watching it uh, and that's fine but if you do um, invite me to that next meeting if you can um, because something needs to be done something needs to be said and if we do start on minus points I'm expecting um, some compensation of me season ticket money wise why should I pay a full price if we're going to be starting like that and we're not signing players it's like we're just saying straight away we're not even going to try to go up so yeah and you know for people who's happy about art clubs running then that's fine that is absolutely fine I like different opinions uh, I personally don't understand you I personally don't agree with it but that's fine you know crack on that's fine I'll be there at Oakwell wherever uh, we play uh, in league whatever league we play um, and all turns out for the heads uh, because I'm Barnsley through and through but there comes a point where you think you've just been took for an absolute mug uh, here um, and something needs to be done but let me know what you think um, that's my rant of a very very poor pre-season uh, Barnsley Football Club very very poor timing announcing this with EFL charges very very poor recruitment uh, and people I've seen it again on social media oh there's three weeks to go yet yeah exactly that's one of the reasons why we should be getting players in there's plenty of time now we need players in um, so poor recruitment as well um, and we need answers, proper answers, um, and I'll leave it at that. So let me know what you think. Until next time, take care. Bye-bye.